Hey, this is Kevin Bees with tip number 26 on the life-changing business tips. And today I want to talk to you about how do you manage your growing workload? As your marketing and sales begin to have more success, you have more work coming your way, you can't particularly do everything. If you keep trying to do everything you did when you started the business, you're probably gonna go crazy. You're gonna end up working ridiculous hours and feeling burnt out and never quite getting the growth that you want on the business. I, I've seen again and again that the biggest bottleneck on the growth of the business is the psychology of the business owner, being able to uh, let go of certain tasks and trust in other people to, to pick those tasks up. Now, uh, what I wanna share with you today, I wanna share with you a principle that I, I have labeled DAD, the D-A-D principle, the DAD principle. And when you understand this principle, it's going to help you eliminate certain types of tasks. So you just, you, your business doesn't have to do them anymore. It's going to help you use systems and, uh, and technology to get things done faster in an easier way. And it's also going to help you find uh, resources that you don't have to take on in a full-time way, so you have fixed overheads, but you have flexibility uh, and lower cost resources. So, so what is this methodology then, the DAD methodology? So the DAD, the D stands for delete. What can you delete? Now, is there something that you're doing every day that actually now that the business develops and growing, you just don't need to do it anymore? Now, sometimes there is some things that we can just take right off of our plate and uh, in actually, you know, in actually stopping to take a look and ask, asking, is this really necessary? That's a great way to, to understand, is, is it necessary? The producers of the movie Shrek did this and they were they were talking about the animations in the back of, of the cartoons. Very often cartoons have a lot of animations in the, in the back of the scene. And they asked that question, is this really necessary? And they decided they didn't need the full length of animations in the back that other cartoons had. So they, they stripped that out. Now that saved them uh, millions and millions of dollars. Now, so delete. Is there anything you can delete and just take off your plate? Now, that may be a silly question because you're probably thinking I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't need to do it. But for some of you, you may find some things you can delete. The next question then is the second part, the D. The A is automate. What can you automate? Before we start giving work over to other resources to do this for us, what can we automate? Is there something that we can get into the system, into a piece of technology? Can we get a report to download automatically for us? Can we set up um, a clever system with our bookkeeping, for example? In the past, there'd be a lot of time typing things into systems. You know, and before we even pay a bookkeeper to that, can we get a system where we can take a picture of the receipt and it uploads automatically. Uh, I know both of my bookkeepers that I've used uh, over the last couple of years have had me uh, use different systems for that. Receipt Bank, if you use Zero, is, is a great way. So is there anything you can automate? Something you can put into a system, into a report, um, something so you just don't need to do it anymore. So first we delete it, then we automate it. Then finally we get to the third D, which is Dad, uh, delegate. What can we delegate? We don't want to delegate anything to anyone else before we've deleted things and automated things. Otherwise, we're just paying people to do things that just don't need to be done. Now, as far as delegation goes, you don't necessarily need to jump in and um, buy a you know a full member of staff or parts of member of staff you know who works with you physically. You can actually leverage a lot of great resources online in this day and age. Now, I'm thinking of websites like uh, Upwork or onlinejobs.ph. Now these are a couple of great examples. You can go to this, or even Fiverr. Fiverr is a great place for low cost resources. You can go to these sites, you can type in the type of task or activity it is that you need to be done. And you're gonna get people from all around the world in different countries than you uh, bidding for this work. Now, the first time I did this, probably four or five years ago now, I was amazed. I was finishing my working day. I put a task up online. I went home, I had dinner, I had a shower, and I got back on a few hours later, and there were 30 people who had bidded for the work, okay? And there were varying prices, varying levels of skills. These websites will easily tell you, um, you know, how, mu how much work this person has done on the website, what reviews they've got. So you can pick someone who's got a very uh, good review and good experience, so you know that they're gonna be able to deliver the work very well for you. And in addition to that, you're gonna be able to find potentially a good rate. If you're like uh, most of the people listening to this, you're probably in a, in a country that's more expensive, maybe Europe, US, Australia, UK. Now, very frequently, people bidding for the work are in countries with a lower cost base. So it could be people, uh, Philippines frequently, uh, India, um, you know, uh, Indonesia. There's a whole heap of skilled resources and intelligent people down there who don't earn at the same level or they don't have the same cost of living that we do. So you may pick up people to help you for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars an hour. And 
they will do a little bit of work or a lot of work, whatever you need to do. So as an example for me, when I do this uh, great episode, I have a wonderful lady called Sarah, Sarah Jane, and she may be watching this, hi Sarah Jane. So she will take this video once I've done it, and she will then do a heap of things that I, you know, I don't think is important for me to do. I wanna get this message out, but I don't necessarily wanna spend the time doing the technical things behind the scenes. So she can take this video and put it on Instagram TV from Facebook, or she could take it and put it on YouTube, or she could then um, turn the video into an audio and get that audio uploaded uh, onto the podcast. So you may be listening to this on the podcast. Okay, so this has come from a Facebook Live video and uh, the assistant has done that for me. It's up there, I don't, I don't do that, it's just taken care of. And then additionally, she'll have this audio transcribed. There's a great system that we can use to get it transcribed and then we can turn that into a blog post. Uh, so that's a good example of uh, delegation. That's one, one way you can delegate. But anything you need doing, you know, that maybe you don't have the skill set for, you can jump online and find someone at cost effective price to do that. So uh, in summary then, as you're growing your business and you have more and more tasks and activities to do, make sure first you delete those things. The things that you were doing at the beginning, you may not need to do anymore. Maybe they're not working for you. Then you need to look at automation. What can you do to put it into a system or a process so it's just taken care of for you uh, electronically or out of your way? And then finally, the third thing is, what do you delegate? How can you get it off of your plate? Um, of course, this ties into yesterday's video around the human needs. If you are bringing on a staff member or a member who's gonna be in your team regularly, understand what are their needs? What is it that they actually need from you? And if you can give that to them, give them what they need and find a role in a way that supports their needs, they're gonna stay with you, they're gonna be more enthused and more excited to work with you. Now, my uh, my client, Tim, who I was speaking with just before this call, he, uh, he really inspired me to share this message because he, uh, gave me an example of what we were talking about just yesterday. He lives in an area where people are more about lifestyle. They don't necessarily want to be working a crazy amount of hours. You know, they maybe have kids to pick up from school. So in understanding what his, uh, his full-time assistant, understanding her needs, he actually understood that really she would need maybe some shorter hours so it was easier for her to pick the kids up from school. So then he was uh, able to be flexible with her, understanding her needs and supporting with that. He, agreed with her to drop her hours and he said she's actually getting more done she's more enthused more excited getting the same amount of work done uh you know that he was asking for in less time because it gives her the flexibility to meet her lifestyle so uh that was a bonus piece there for you so key message from today is uh think about in your business as the business grows what can you delete what can you automate what can you delegate okay that's it from me so uh great to see you today hope you have a fantastic day and i'll be back tomorrow for tip number 27